What's going on, people? This is Jeremiah. You're watching the Vision of Jeremiah, and uh, I just have like a quick little tutorial using uh, the plugin called Throwsy, uh for Cinema 4D. Um, you know, I just posted up a um, another video dealing with uh, breaking objects without using any third-party plugins. Well, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do this with a third-party plugin called uh, Throwsy. And um, it's pretty, um, it's pretty neat. Um, it, it was pretty fast and, um, you know, kind of efficient in a way, um, opposed to what, you know, I just showed you, uh, you know. But they essentially all do the, like the exact same thing. Well, here you have it. I just have like a render picture of this little, uh, you know, freeze frame uh, over here at number forty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play this back for you. And I just have um, three cubes. I just, you know set up in a way and got a spear and a floor and some lighting and I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you. You see that? Well it's running slow because I got this recording thing on but uh I'll go ahead and freeze frame it here again in a little bit. And what the LZ does it kinda automatically make um cuts you know it kind of cuts up any type of object everything for you um and like i said uh you can accomplish what you see like in the little professional videos like the superman videos and how they how to be destroying buildings with like alien crafts and all that good stuff and you can do that essentially with any type of 3d application uh you know whether it be cinema 4d 3ds max maya blender uh you can accomplish that uh you know very simply so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this one. Something simple I just did, and um, that was it's pretty fast. Just to, uh, I just cut it up twice just so I can go ahead and have some more pieces. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it up once uh, this time though. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mess around with my uh, Y axis to make this a little bit more longer, or taller. And uh, I got this plugin called Drop the Floor. And uh, we're gonna drop that to the floor and. Uh, for me, I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna hold command, click my uh cube and just make uh copies of it. Set them up, copies of this one, push that back, go back to the original one, copies of that one, and just push that back. Now with all these selected, plug in, browsing, and uh break this over here. We'll go to my dynamics, dynamic tag, and um from uh, I'm going to switch immediately to on collision and I'm going to just crank up the pieces for about like what 20 back up about 15 just to go ahead and make this a little bit more faster and I'm going to do is hit break objects and it should break up pretty you know fast look at that it's like pretty cool now if you want like even smaller pieces you can you know you can go through and like hand pick your pieces and break them up even more but what I did for that little picture, I just, you know, cranked up this uh, pieces here and, and broke it again. And uh, that may take a little bit longer because Darzy would go through and literally uh, break every single one of these pieces into the design pieces that you set here for the flyout window. Um, But that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and add in the floor. I'm going to go down to my floor uh, coordinates and uh, I'm going to crank up my size here on my X. And then on my Z, just to have that a little bit more room, no problem. And um, next thing I'm doing, I'm gonna grab a, a spear. And I'm gonna brag up my spear. That's pretty cool. I'll bring this down just a little bit more. I'm gonna rotate this way. Uh -huh. Bring it up a little bit more. Put it down. Um, go to my spear object. Crank up my radius just a little bit to like 150. Just so I can hit all, you know, all the cubes here and break them up. Now, what you need to do is start adding in uh, dynamic tags. Uh, well, all your cubes and everything already have dynamic tags, so you don't need to worry about that. That's so how the previous tutorial I did. You will have to add in dynamic tags if you do not have Throwsy. Uh, you know, you have to cut it up and all that good stuff. So, if you want to watch that, just go to my channel and uh, it should be up there. Um, but with the floor, I'm going to simulate. Um, rigid body, sphere, simulation, rigid body, 
But with the rigid body on the um, spear, I'm going to go ahead to my dynamics uh, option. And you see what this little dynamic is? It say on. Change that to off. Because if you keep it on, when you do your animation, your, your little spear here is going to drop to the ground. We want that to stay in like mid-air, you know, to go through um, this little animation that we're about to do. So I'm going to go here. Now I'm going to hit a keyframe. Go to my last frame. Bring this out forward. Keyframe. And we have a simple animation. Now, if I press play, they should break up. Um, see that? It's pretty cool. Throwsy. Quick, simple, um, but if you do not have it, there's also multiple ways to come up with the same type of effect. And um, like I said, uh, you know, if I actually took the time out or did like a tutorial about a model um, a building and then you know duplicate it and all that good stuff and uh, add in some windows or some, some shatter and whatever and then break it with the drowsy uh, plug in and add, some, and add in some type of like you know alien spacecraft or something you would probably get the same type of effect that you see like on a uh, Hollywood videos and um yeah that's it I hope this helps out a lot I'm Jeremiah thank you